This is my very first time away from Levi. I was thinking. Yes, Aramta. Are you frugal with money? It was like such a proud moment for me. I am going on my solo trip in forever. Before the lockdown, I wanted to do a solo trip. I've never done a solo trip other than the one that I went to London and Norwich for work in 2019. Ever since that trip, it's been nagging me that I've never done a solo trip on my, by myself. I am so independent and yet I have become very dependent on people around me. That I wouldn't go out and eat on my own or I wouldn't go out on my own. I've never really had the need, nor did I think about doing it. But ever since that trip for work, I've wanted to do it on my own and I was so close to doing it in 2020. But because of the pandemic, obviously we couldn't travel anywhere at all. But today, I've been invited to go to Wales for a youth camp as one of the guest speakers. It's only a one night trip that I'm doing. So it's a Wednesday today. I've got one session tonight and two sessions tomorrow on Thursday. Um, and I will be back tomorrow. Not only is this my first solo trip, this is my very first time away from Levi for a night, not just a couple of hours during the day. He is 15 months old today and I've never left him on his own. Not that I don't trust Lakshman, but I've just not been away from him. You know, it's like I'm the one who's going through separation anxiety and not Levi. I am very sure Levi and Lakshman are going to have a very good time together. I don't know if I can say the same about me. I've had a lot of thoughts. Initially, I didn't want to do this youth camp. I said no, and then it kept coming, and then I accepted it because I know this is my purpose. I know this is my vision. I know I need to do it, and it's one of my goals as well for this year, you know, to rediscover myself, to work on myself, to become independent once again. I feel like ever since becoming a mother, I've been so dependent on Lakshman or on Levi even, you know, he's like my security blanket. If I go somewhere, uh, I find it awkward to make small talks with anyone. I would just carry Levi with me, you know, and automatically the conversations will start flowing. And so I've used him as, as an excuse for a very long time. Even up till this morning, I was trying to convince Lakshman to come along with me with Levi, but he was like, nope, you know, you have to do it on my own. I do. I know, I just keep denying it. Um, anyway, I'm taking off now. Cost out my work had closed, so I couldn't get a drink there. I stopped here to get a drink, and I really, really need to get going. I should have left about half an hour ago, but it took me such a long time to leave work and to get started, basically. But I will see you in Wales. I don't know how much I will be vlogging, but I really want to capture this entire trip for my own keepsake. Apologies for the tacky angle and the lighting. This is the best I could do at the moment. It's already 11 o'clock at night. Um, the first session went so well. I mean, okay, when I got to Wales, it should have been dinner time. It was slightly past six o'clock when I reached. And then my sessions should have been at seven. But when I reached the previous session, um, I had extended a little bit more naturally and then half six we went to lunch and then all of a sudden at um seven o'clock they announced to say that the next session will be at seven fifteen. so i had to quickly go and take my things i was under the impression that i'll have time to check into my room and then change get refreshed everything and then going for my session but because the previous session had extended i didn't have time to do any of those i was thinking literally stinking because I got ready first thing in the morning, went to work, left work at half three and then got here straight, drove for two and a half hours odd. Um, yeah, I had to apologize to the congregation, to the group if I was stinking because I could smell it. I'm sure they could too. 
but they were all being very polite. The session was really, really good. The first session was about vision and goals and time management. For some reason, I was not feeling very confident. I know these things. I know I will do well, but I don't know. I just felt unprepared because it has been a very, very busy week for me, especially with the whole family coming down for Lakshman's graduation and the other things that I had to do and manage and all that. So I felt as if I didn't give enough time preparing for this. You know, I was like underprepared rather than overprepared like I always am. But it went so well. I know for a fact it's not just my own preparation and my experience. It's definitely God and the Holy Spirit. Um, the audience, the group who were between 17 to 25, I think, university students, you know, just started working and everything. Such a good congregation. They were so responsive, so interactive as well. And I was well pleased. And I was very surprised by myself, how spontaneous I was. I just got into bed. And I don't know how much sleep I'm going to get. Um, the cabin is really nice. This is like a cabin, outdoorsy kind of a location. And each one of us got our own cabin. This one has three rooms and it sleeps six people with two bathrooms, you know. And it has this lounge and kitchen and dining area. It's it's really nice how many seating area they fit in one small place. It's too dark now. It's past 11 o'clock. I can't show you a room tour. Um, I will do that tomorrow. It's a very, very nice place. I'll show you in the morning. But because that bed is so hard and there's no bedding whatsoever, I wanted to go to the next room to get an extra duvet so that I can layer it up. But the minute I opened my door, something came flying. It's it's probably a moth or a butterfly or something. I got scared and I shut the door and came back inside. This place, because it's very outdoorsy, I can hear sheep bleating outside, you know, and it's like, yeah, a lot of insects and everything, obviously. So, this is going to have to make do for tonight. Anyway, while I was in the session, Lakshman was obviously having a lot of trouble putting Levi to sleep. Um, That poor thing, he's 15 months old today and this is the first time ever I'm leaving him overnight not just during the day but overnight Lakshman is very 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 good at handling Levi it's not like the way he does Levi is very different from the way I handle him it's the same but he's been away for bedtime a couple of times in fact during his MBA you know church or work or whatever it is and I've put Levi to sleep on my own at night and he's never looked for Lakshman but today apparently he went looking for me in every single room um, Lakshman put him down at half seven after his bath and prayer and all that. Even apparently during prayer, he kept looking at me, asking for mama. He kept looking for me, asking for mama. And then put him down in the court. And it seems he cried within two minutes. So Lakshman picked him up and knew that he wasn't going to settle by himself. So he put him in the bed and lied down next to him. He still didn't want to. He was crying. So he picked him up. And then it seems Levi was pointing his hand, wanting to go out. He went to every single room looking for me. He went to every bathroom looking for me. He kept asking for mama. I'm pulling his puppy dog face. I was so upset when I heard that. I was like, we didn't expect that at all. And the Lakshman had to explain, saying, mama is not here tonight. She'll come back tomorrow. I know. Um... The poor thing he had to make do without me, obviously. And then eventually he slept, like, from put him to sleep. But I thought it was, it's difficult. It's really, really difficult. And it's not that I am emphasizing the sacrifices that I'm making. It's a choice that I made. It's not an intentional sacrifice. It's like my heart knew I needed to be here in this camp while my mind was looking for excuses, trying to bring Levi and Lakshman together. But God's planning was for me to come here today on my own and for Lakshman to be with Levi so that he gets it one-to-one -one time. With Levi, I had an amazing session fellowship with the girls also. After the session, the girls, and the boys and the girls, all of the youths had like outdoor play time. Um, outdoor seat time, they're playing tug of war and football and some games and stuff. And some of the girls came chatting and talking about, you know, visions and purposes and everything. And it was like, it was fulfilling and this is my time to serve them and that is what really really matters and I'm so glad I'm actually here while I'm sad I'm not with him but we will all need to learn 
this is what is going to happen in the future and we have to start from somewhere. I need to finish a little bit more preparation and fine tuning for both of my sessions for tomorrow. Um, my first session tomorrow is only 11 o'clock, so I do have time in the morning, but I want to be there available present talking to them, not just sitting here in my cabin doing this. So I'm going to go and do a little bit more work and then head to bed. Good morning. As promised, here's a room tour. As you enter in through this door, you will walk into the lounge. There's so much seating for a lot of people here. TV, I don't know if it works. I didn't use that. That radiator didn't, didn't work. I don't know if it switched off. A lot of storage as well. And on this side, you have like a breakfast and eating nook. A lot more storage in here. And the kitchen. Kitchen is very well equipped. You have all of your cutleries, plates, cups and everything there. Toaster, utensils, um, microwave and kettle also. I think that's a working hob. It should be oven. There's a fridge down here. And then as you walk down this corridor on your right, this one is the bathroom. You have a shower and a sink here. And the next one is the toilet. So that's your toilet and there's a mini sink in there. Um, that was all on your right and on your left. This is one room, two single beds in this room. And that's a window looking out. And this is storage cupboard in here a very small storage but at least you have something you know the rooms are quite narrow but it's still nice though it fits so many people this is another room with two single beds and another storage in here and finally the last room is the double bed with a lot more storage and then you have like a double door cupboard over there dressing table and another single door cupboard and that's the neighboring caravan Okay, that's how the caravan looks like. And there's plenty out here. These are all of the caravans out here. That's on my left and the one on the right, there's three more caravans. You can obviously park your cars in front of your caravan and next to it. And it's really nice. I'm very impressed with this place. It's small, but I'm surprised how they managed to fit in so much storage and you know seating areas and everything. And my favorite, is this breakfast nook over here it's just across the kitchen and yeah it's it's a very good size the only downside to it though is that it is freezing in here there's one heater behind and i was standing behind that heater for such a long time and i was freezing myself last night i forgot to bring my socks i didn't expect it to be cold i didn't know what to expect obviously i wasn't prepared i was thinking it's going to be just like bristol you know even now while holding the camera I'm, my hands are shaking Okay, with your opinions and desires. I know there's a verse in the Bible, Jesus said, you know, you think I can be the way to be? Are you still going with money? Do you know what being frugal is? Never heard that word. Or you don't exercise it. Are you financially independent? Not yet. Not doing part time job, maybe that's easier. No. Okay. boys and my babies um the camp was really really good i am so glad i actually went for it and i made it i was so concerned that i wasn't prepared remember at the beginning of the vlog i said that i wasn't prepared and i didn't really feel like going but when i reached there on um on wednesday night it just it just flowed um i don't know it was really good overall it was so good the youths were so re receptive there were between 17 to 24 25 maybe there were about 30 of them so i did one session on wednesday and two sessions on thursday i didn't really vlog much on thursday but i took some snippets that you would have seen um you know prior to this clip 
they were so receptive, had several questions and everything. One of the common questions that people always ask me is, how is it I'm able to talk so well? I'm so confident. Or how do I communicate so well? I, that wasn't part of my plan. I wasn't able to do all of these things when I was so much more younger. You know, when I was in school, I wouldn't do impromptu speech debates. I would never stand in front of my classmates and say anything. That's such an introvert. Even though I'm still an introvert, but I'm probably an introvert and extrovert now. But talking thing is it's an entirely different thing altogether, communication and stuff. That's probably another topic for everything else. When I walked in on Wednesday, I was introduced as Mrs. Lakshman because no one knew me. I was invited by my brother-in-law who was one of the guest speakers in the youth camp. I didn't know anyone and they didn't know me as well. But when I left on Thursday, I left as Chimmy. It gives me so much joy that people recognize me and identify me for who I am. It was like such a proud moment for me that when I left, they called me as Chimmy, they thanked me and everything. And being away from Lakshman and Levi especially for one night wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I really did miss him though. Um, Wednesday night especially, I felt very anxious and everything. But because I was so busy and occupied while I was there, talking to them and with all of my sessions and everything, I didn't really have the chance to think about it. Also, he's with Lakshman, so there isn't anything to worry about anyway. So that wasn't so much of a problem. But technically, my first solo trip is considered a success. A solo trip and also first trip away for a conference like a youth camp on a speaking engagement was success.